Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you all about how to customize and style the Divi menu module dropdown. So the sub menu that comes with the menu module that was released with 4.0, I'm going to show you how to style three different parts of that, the overall sub menu and then the list items and the links themselves. So I kind of broke it down to three parts. There's not really any settings for these in Divi at the time of this recording, so we gotta use some CSS, but don't worry. I'm gonna show you which snippets to use and then give you some ideas on what you can do to customize your drop-down submenus in Divi to make them look great. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I have an example here with a menu and a submenu, and we're gonna show you how to style each part of that. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to want to go over to the blog post because I have a lot of um, snippets over there and also I have some extra graphics explaining some things. Um, so click the link down below and go over to the blog post, kind of keep that open as you're working here. In fact, let's just start with this very first example. This is you know what we see here in our example, but um, I want to point something out. So there's actually like three kind of like separate parts to the sub menu. Um, that's the unordered list, so that's like the overall this uh, the overall thing. Like just think of it. That's the sub menu, the drop down. That's the unordered list, and then there's list items, which of course these are the the menu items here. But then inside a list item is actually a link because they're not just it's not just a list of words. It's a list of links. Okay, so and that can be a little confusing, but just think of it as those three things. Here I want to show you something that each one of these elements has by default. And actually I'm going to go over here and if we right click, click inspect, we'll be able to see this for ourselves. Let's get out of responsive view. But um, So in this drop down you can kind of click on here and you can see that this here it says sub menu. Now you see the collars there. You can see that like the blue is the main part, but then the green is actually the padding. And then there's a little yellow part on top, and that's that that's that line that comes by default on the Divi submenu there. So think of it as um, you know, we could control that green part. There, there's extra padding there um, that we really wouldn't need. And I'll just I'll just show you. See, there's a lot of space at the top and bottom compared to like the middle. Then next would be like um, the list items, right? So there's an example of one. I'm when I'm hovering over a list item, and you'll see again there's green, which is the padding on each side of those list items. So you can kind of see how much space is at the side of this menu, okay? And then the next thing down inside that would be a link, and again inside that link, which by the way, notice how the blue part there becomes the green, um, the padding. Do you see what I'm saying there? See that? All right, so the link. So there's all this extra spacing, and that's one of the main things that you probably are going to want to style. Um, that area, change the color, you know, change the size of that. So I just wanted to kind of point that out at the beginning. There, there's like these three separate areas that we're going to be working with. And um, we're going to give you some snippets. And it, also I have a, like a graphic here along with each snippet okay so the first one is just the overall sub menu and and I highlighted it in this like pinkish collar and we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna get open my builder and we're gonna just we're just gonna go through just a couple examples um, something that you may want to do to style this sub menu okay and and specifically the overall sub menu so notice how over here I say your CSS here. We're going to copy this whole thing here, this snippet, but we're going to change out the CSS based on whatever we want to do. And I actually gave you some examples here. So wherever it says your CSS here, you're going to want to put something in here, like something that you um, that you want to do to customize it. Um, maybe the width, maybe the background, the border, um, get rid of the border on top and get rid of the padding something like that. So these are just examples things that I do a lot and um, So we could copy this snippet and then we could start showing you a couple of those customizations So let's go back here to wherever your page is and I'm gonna be putting this r To do this live on the page. I always put it in the advanced tab of the page settings 
and it kind of helps me see it live. Otherwise, you could put it in your child theme or Divi theme option. So if I put this in here, of course, it's not going to do anything yet. Let's go back here and pick one. So let's just pick this one, the padding zero. So we want to get rid of the padding on our sub menu. So again, remember your CSS here, get rid of that, paste in the new thing. So now I'm telling it to not have padding top and bottom. Now you can already see the difference. Do you see that? But here, um, like we could make this, you know, 30. See that top and bottom spacing. Okay. Um, so let's get rid of, let's get rid of that for now, but we can, we can stack these too. So don't think like that you can only use one of these examples. I put them here separately so I could label them. Let's get rid of the border on top because you know, that thing's kind of a pain. It's just there all the time. Let's get rid of that. See, now it's not, you don't have that blue border on top. Okay. So, oh, but what if we wanted to add a border? around the whole thing instead of get rid of the one on top. So we could actually just say like that. There you go. You have a border around the whole thing. Okay. And you're telling it two pixels thick, a solid color, and then the color. Okay. So let's check another one. Ooh, what if we want to change the background color of just the drop down? Copy that one, paste that in here. And there you go. The whole thing became green. Um, what's the last one? Oh, the width. Yeah, we'll get into this a little bit, but you can actually change the width um, of the drop down. See how it got wider? But we'd also have to change the width of each of these items. So while we're at it, let's just get rid of this. And now we're going to go to the second part. So that was how you style the overall drop down menu. Okay. Now let's go to the next item inside there. And you can see I've highlighted it again. And we call them the list items. And so it's the exact same process. I show you um, the graphic and the snippet. And again, I have your CSS here, but then I have, um, oh, okay. And then this one I have on hover. So I, and I'll, sh I'll point this out. So here it's like, it's, it's pointing out the menu and the list items, but notice right in here, it says hover. That's how you tell in CSS, like what you want to apply on hover as opposed to just regular. So I guess I pointed that out because there's a couple items here that we're going to want to do just on hover. So let's first grab the snippet for um, the normal state. And again, let's just paste it in here and, and we'll, you know, we'll come back. Um, in fact, let's grab them both while we're at it. That way we have them both in here and we'll just want to be careful that we, you know, distinguish between the hover and the regular. All right. So, Maybe we want to remove spacing on these list items. Let's try that one. Um, and, and, and something like spacing you probably don't want to do on hover, but, and you can see already that the space on each side went away and you can see that there's this little bit of background color. Do you see that? Isn't that annoying? And you also notice that the, see the opacity of the links change. We're going to change that too. So these are a couple of things that I'm just showing you as I'm um, illustrating this, but we'll, we'll get, we'll go to the next ones here. Um, change the background on hover. Okay. Let's grab that one. And we'll, of course we'll put this in the second set here and we're going to change the background color of that to green when we hover. See that? All right. And so some of these you're going to want to use in combination. So if we're changing the background of this list item, to something dark like this, well then you would want to change the link to something like white and we'll, we'll get that next. Um, oh, and here's another good one. Um, one that I tend to use sometimes you can actually add like a border here. In fact, yeah, let's just see that added a little line below each one. Okay. Just, you know, little things like that. And these are examples of what you can do for the list item. Now here's where it's going to get interesting. The next one down, is the last one here is the link itself and again i have um the snippet and you know we could just modify the snippet but for sake of the tutorial let's paste that in grab the other one um and and again you're going to want to combine some of these with the previous ones um but let's just see what some of my examples are here and again we're starting with padding because that's just um an obvious one that we can see here. There's how it looks. 
Now, when you notice how that little background color comes on, there's no padding around it now because we've taken it off the link. We've taken it off um, right here. This green part here on the link has been removed. Okay, that's what we're doing with with the links here. And let's do the next one, opacity. So now this one would be on hover, and this background color one would be on hover. And I'm gonna let's let's show you that because. Um, that's just something I use all the time. So by default, we're getting that background and see how the gray color kind of fades out in the link. Let's put that in here, opacity of one. And while we're at it, let's get rid of the background too. Okay, so now you won't really see any difference, okay? Um, of the background, you won't have that annoying background color. And, and I'll show you, you know, I'm gonna show you a combination of maybe a, uh, of all these together here in just a minute. So let's, let's keep going here real quick. Oh, and here's the width. So if you're changing the width before, you're gonna to wanna to change it again. Here you can change the font size. So the reason that this one's kind of a big one is because right now in Divi, you can't even do that. Like if you wanna, if you change this, the size of the text of the menu in this menu module, you'll, you'll affect the drop down. but see how small I made that there? You might wanna make it like, you know, a couple pixels um, smaller, you know, just because of, because it's like sub menu, it's like less important or something. Okay, so that you can do that. And here, of course, you can change the color and you could, you could do things like, um, like this, change the letter spacing on hover. And, and I'll just throw that one in there. So watch this, see how it kind of, yeah, you could do anything like that. So let's start combining some of these together. So like I said before, the the list items um, on hovers, you can um, add that background color. Let's do that because I think that one's a nice effect. So I'm going to kind of like keep these in order, go back up here, and then um, like this background here. So let's, let's copy that, put that in here, and then you'll be able to see what we need to do. Oh, so I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of that right now, but so right now, see it's going green. Now we would go back here to the, the link and say collar and type in the code for F, um, white, F, F, F. See that? Because we've changed the background on the list item, now we need to change the collar of the link. All right, and so let's deal with some of the spacing stuff. I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Um, in fact, let's get, I don't I don't even like that. Um, the the padding at the top and bottom of the actual menu now needs to go away. So let's go back up, and we can grab that of the overall the overall um, drop down here. So again, we'll put that in order. All right, and then we'll just I could type it in, but let's just follow along here. We'll take the padding again, and we've we've showed you this earlier. Okay, so let's see. Yep, see now it's starting to be like everything's even. Now that blue line's still annoying, so we might want to grab this too, get rid of that border on top, like that. All right, so things are looking pretty good. Now notice how these. You know, we needed this to be wider. We would like this to be a one line. I don't know about this one. Probably you should change this to be shorter in your menu, but this one here, I think we could get this to one line, right? So I'm gonna show you what happens when we change the width of the main, the overall thing here, the sub menu. So there, we've made it wider, but look what happens. Our list item is not wide enough. So, we would need to go down here and get the list item. And um, by default in Divi, the list item is, well, I, it's, it's smaller, of course, by default, but there's a difference here that I'm gonna show you. Let me just um, copy this and I'll show you. If I put the same width as the overall submenu into the list item, it works perfect. 
But if now let's if we had padding and stuff like that, it's going to change some things. We have to be careful with what width we put in here. Now let's change the actual link. Notice that the the link itself has not changed to one line. So um, let's go back and I think the width for that is actually going to be I don't know. Is it, I think that I'm not sure if I have that correct or not. Oh, I need to grab the. I need to grab another step and snip it here. Just the link. Okay, so hopefully you can you're you're getting what I'm doing. I'm just showing you examples of how we can style this sub menu. And there's there's more things I'm sure. I just wrote down what I could think of off the top of my head. Um, so there we go. So now we're starting. Oh, okay, so we made it a little wider. Let's make it sixty. There you go. You see what I did? So this doesn't have to be 300 like up here. We made the overall drop down wide. Then we made the list item wide because we have this background color and because the link is inside it. And now we made the link wider. So we've just made this wider and, and done all kinds of other things. All right. So I think I'm going to wrap it up with that. Uh, we do have a couple more tutorials. We have one where we can put a little point on top here. And do some things like that. Um, we were thinking about making a separate one for making this wider. I'll think about that, maybe go into more detail on what I'm actually doing here. Um, but I wanted to just show you some of these examples of all three. So right now, all three of these things have some kind of styling on by using these snippets. Okay, so hopefully you can follow along with that and have great looking drop down sub menus with your Divi menu module. I'm doing a whole lot of tutorials right now on the menu module and I have a whole bunch planned, but I would still like to hear from you. If you have ideas, something related to the menu, let me know in the comments and you can look for that in the future here and we'll see you in our next video.